Hello and thank you for joining in this session of a virtual tour of Drax Power Station. My name is Natalie and at the end of this session there are five questions to answer in total. So let's get started. In today's session we're going to be learning all about transportation. Transportation is an important part of our process. The fuel we use at Drax comes from all around the world and we need that fuel to make electricity. So let's dive in and learn more about this. Drex has six generating units in total. Four units operate on sustainably sourced biomass and two units operate on coal. Our biomass pellets are sourced mostly from the United States of America and Canada. So we need to ensure that large amounts of fuel can be delivered to the power station to generate electricity. Drex has the use of these large cargo vessels that you can see on the picture. Due to how much fuel is used at Drax, we have many ships heading from the US and Canada to the UK. To make sure we don't have a queue of ship waiting to unload, we use four different ports across the UK. These ports are Port of Tyne, Hull, Immingham and Liverpool. Once the ship is secured into place, the next job is to unload all the biomass pellets. The ships we use have a special cover over the biomass to ensure that it doesn't get wet at any point. Because it's a wood material, we need it dry to use inside the boilers. When ready to unload the fuel, the cover opens where the black arrows are pointing, and that is part of the cover. The biomass is unloaded and stored until we start the next part of transportation. You can see here how the roof opens. Those sections will then slide to the side, opening a larger section inside the ship. On picture 1 you can see the large sections in which the biomass is stored, picture 2 and 4 is the large screw machine which is used to unload the biomass and picture 3 is the biomass inside the ship. This vessel is the largest shipment that Drax has ever received, holding a massive 63,907 tonnes. This was received at the Port of Immingham on Friday the 13th of March 2020. So far, we have looked at the ships that bring the fuel to the UK, but those four ports are not located next to tracks, so we need another method of transportation, trains. Drax has specially designed wagons to carry the biomass pellets. There are 225 wagons in total. The wagons were made in the UK and are currently the largest running on the UK train network. Just like the ships that bring the biomass, the wagons also have a roof on the top, ensuring the pellets are dry throughout the transportation. One train load has an average of 25 wagons in total. Each wagon can hold 70 tonnes of biomass pellets, so 25 wagons times 70 tonnes equals 1,750 tonnes of biomass in one delivery. The train and the wagon arrives empty at the ports. This picture is the port of Liverpool. The large storage silos that you can see behind the train is where the biomass is stored once unloaded from the ships. Trains slow down to half a mile per hour as they enter the loading bay, where sensors and magnets open the hatch doors of the wagons and close them when they are full. The automation of this process allows a 25 wagon train to be filled in just 37 minutes. In total, 12 trains can pass through each day, meaning the port of Liverpool can send up to 72 trains to Drax every week. This is inside the rail loading building. You can see the roof of the wagons, which is open, allowing the 70 tonnes of biomass pellets to drop into each wagon. Once each wagon is filled, its roof closes so that the biomass can stay dry on its journey to Drax. Once the train is fully loaded, it starts its journey towards Drax Power Station. This overview picture of the site shows where the train tracks are. It is one large circuit in total, with the trains arriving at point 1, running along the straight line towards point 2, which is what we call the rail unloading building. As it unloads the fuel, which we will go into more detail in on the next slides, it follows the big loop around the site and then leaves again at point 1. 
The train arrives at Drax and prepares to unload the biomass. The rail unloading building works in the opposite way to the loading system at the ports. The train waits outside the rail unloading building until it has confirmation that it can start to unload the biomass. We unload the biomass through the base of each wagon. The red circles highlight where the magnets are located on the wagon. As the train moves slowly through the building, each wagon passes a sensor, which allows the base of the wagon to open, with gravity pulling the biomass into something called hoppers, located under the tracks. There are two tracks inside the building, meaning that two trains can unload at the same time. The biomass drops into five hoppers under the tracks that you can see on the picture. It takes an average of 45 minutes to unload a 25 wagon train. As the biomass drops into the hoppers below, it is then taken along conveyor belts and moves through to the next stage of the process. Once the train has done its job of unloading the biomass, it leaves Drax Power Station to head back to the port to collect more biomass for Drax to use to generate your electricity. Now it's time to think back on everything that we have learnt so far and answer these five questions. Question 1. How many wagons does Drax have to transport biomass? Is it A. 175 B. 200 or C. 225 Question 2. Can you name two parts that the trains collect biomass from? Question 3. How does the biomass enter the wagon? Is it A. from the top, B. from the middle, or C. from the bottom? Question 4. How many tonnes does one wagon hold? Is it A, 60, B, 70, or C, 80? And last question, question 5. How long does it take to unload a full biomass train? Is it A, 30 minutes, B, 45 minutes, or C, 60 minutes? Okay, let's see how you did. Question one, Drax has 225 wagons. Question two, the ports you can have are Tyne, Hull, Immingham and Liverpool. Question three, the biomass is loaded at the top of the wagons. Question four, one wagon can hold 70 tonnes of biomass. And question five, it takes 45 minutes to unload a train. And that's it for this session. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope that you've learned something new. We have more sessions being published every week and we look forward to seeing you on those ones. Thank you.